Hi guys, welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for both the beta and the dev channels of the Windows Insider program. In this video, we are talking about the build 26120.3281. As a short recap for those of you who are not up to date, basically the beta channel is now moving on to version 24H2 and somewhere at the end of the month of February, the dev channel will go up to most likely version 25H2. So for this month, we're getting the same 24H2 build for both the beta and the dev channels. In this video, we're going to talk about the new things that Microsoft announces in this build. Of course, the new AI stuff, the return of recall, and other features that can be encountered by all users. So if you enjoy videos like these, in which you talk about different Windows 11 and Saturday preview builds, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, Microsoft is adding the ability to resume OneDrive files in one click from your phone to your PC. And this will work with both iOS and Android on Windows 11. With this feature, you will get a notification that asks you if you want to pick up where you left off editing a OneDrive file, like a Word document that you last viewed or edited on your phone within five minutes time window preceding unlocking your PC. Of course, you can find more info about this in the article below or on the official Microsoft blog post because there are certain requirements for this. Also, as I've said, Recall is coming back into development and a lot of new features are added. This is only for Copilot Plus PCs. Basically, Recall is a feature that will try to save up everything that you do on your computer and then you're going to be able to search for all the stuff that you've done, photos that you've saved, documents and so on using AI. As part of these changes, the Recall app now uses Mica as found by Phantom of Earth on Twitter. Also more rounded corners for Recall. This includes the context menus, search results and also the click to do toolbar. Alongside with that, Recall filtering options are now easily accessible via the Recall system tray flyout instead of having to set filtering directly in settings. Related to taskbar and system tray, Microsoft is also slowly rolling out the feature that allows you to directly share a file from the taskbar jump list. This hasn't rolled out yet for me on this build, but of course you can check out some of my previous videos where I showed you this feature that is slowly rolling out. Basically, you're going to have a new option here to share a file from the jump list and the share window will pop up on your screen. Related to windowing and snap assist, Microsoft is adding additional information whenever you're trying to snap a window. As you can see, there are different variants this variant states choose where to move this window and also if you drag a window you're also going to see a text describing what you need to do and also the shortcut i think these are some nice additions microsoft is also adding the new option from accounts sign in options which is automatically save my restartable apps and restart them when i sign back in and this has an updated logic that will also enable the file explorer specific setting for this too which is the restore previous folder windows at logon from the file explorer settings and they're also adding the ability to snooze backup reminders or turn them off completely from the file explorer address bar. There are also new addition to spotlight, new information that can be shown if you select the spotlight theme and a more easily accessible shortcut to information about a certain wallpaper. Also related to the settings app, Game Pass Ultimate and PC Game Pass subscribers coming to settings homepage will begin to see a new card for referring a PC Game Pass subscription to their friends to try PC Game Pass for free. This new card will only appear on the settings homepage if you're signed in into your PC with your Microsoft account and meet the required eligibility criteria. Microsoft is also temporarily disabling the settings homepage for commercial customers on PCs managed by an IT administrator because there are a few issues with that. Also, Microsoft is removing the location history feature, an API used by Cortana to access 24 hours of device history when location was enabled. With the removal of location history feature, location data will no longer be saved locally. And also, the corresponding settings are also removed from settings, privacy and security, and then the location page. Also, for the File Explorer, Microsoft Microsoft is disabling account-based content in File Explorer under recent favorites, the details, and also the recommended section for intro IDs in the European Economic Area. Talking about fixes in this build, Microsoft fixed the issue causing unexpectedly high DCOM CPU usage for some insiders after opening the performance section of the Task Manager. Related to lock screen, they fixed an issue in recent flights where if you tried to reset your password from the login screen, it wouldn't work due to an underlying crash. Related to the File Explorer, this release includes increased support for text scaling across File Explorer file open and save dialogues and also the copy dialogues. Also fix an issue causing the see more menu in the command bar to open in the wrong direction for some resolutions. Related to the taskbar and system tray, Microsoft fix an issue where when using multiple monitors, the distance between the date and time and edge of the screen wasn't consistent. Related to input, they fix an issue where if you were using a non-default mouse color, enable it in settings, accessibility and then mouse pointer and touch, it may unexpectedly revert back to white when you encountered a UAC dialog. Related to the settings app, fix an issue causing settings 
settings to crash on launch for some setters, and then finally fix an issue for shared PC users, where when signing in with a guest account using shared PC, the sign-in may fail. This happened if device lock password policies were configured. There are also a few known issues in this build, but all the new known issues in this build are related to the new AI stuff, so if you don't have a Google Plus PC, you don't have any new known issues that you need to be aware of. So, if you want to learn more information about this build, check out the article below, the official Microsoft blog post, or x.com slash phantom over. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below, and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Jumanian from TechBase, until next time, have a nice day.